Hey guys, if you're new to our channel, I'm JC. And I'm Casey. And today we're gonna to be trying some TikTok hair hacks. And we've tried food and lifestyle hacks from TikTok, and most of them were really great. So hopefully these hair hacks are super fun to try, and hopefully they work. And as you can see, JC already has one in her hair. I have the beauty braid, I posted it on my TikTok, and many of you guys asked me to show you how I do it. So I'm gonna do that today in Casey's hair for a tutorial. So let's get started with these hair hacks. I think you should start off with like an easy one. Yeah. So I saw one where you take your two front pieces of hair, you tie it together with a little rubber band and then you flip it over and it's supposed to create like this, but it's an easier way to do it. So since we have really opposite hair lengths, this is gonna show you guys if it works in short and long hair. <laughs> yeah. First step is to take a piece from either side. I don't even know how much hair I wanna take. I'm gonna take equal parts. Ooh. I'm gonna take it from my ear. I took some hair from either side from my ear to the front and now I'm gonna put a rubber band and wrap my hair together. I did the same thing and I don't think you want it very tight because you have to flip it over your entire head. So. Yes, so now I look like I have a beard. A This probably looks really weird. How we looking? Now we both look like we have beards, so I think it's time to flip it over. Okay. Oh. Wait, it kind of did work for me. Some of it's really tight. I think you can just like pull it out. How does it look? I can't see it, so. Um, does it look right? I'm surprised we'll my hair's staying. Oh, wow, yours looks cool. You might want to pull pieces from the front, like that would make it look really cute. But I think this hair hack did work. Like this would be a really easy way to just get the front pieces out of your face. I well, actually did not think this was gonna work in short hair, but it did. Yeah, how does it look for me? Pretty good. Here's the back of it. <laughs> I think yours looks really good in the back. Really? Mine, mine is like crooked and loose. I think you didn't take enough hair. I know, I don't think I did this one right. And it's super easy to you take see, out. You need to take like that much hair. Oh my gosh, no, that's yeah. so much. Overall, this hair hack definitely did work and I think it would be cute for school too. Like, yes, this it reminds would be. me of school, wearing my hair like this, I used to do it all the time. Because when I should have pulled this piece, but it would have stayed back here. Mm -hmm. And when I look down to like write stuff, my hair gets in my face, so this would be perfect. Yeah. And it was super easy and fast to do. The next hair hack, I think I have to show because Casey's hair is too short. But this is basically the Hailey Bieber bun. And I've seen this one on TikTok a lot because it's super easy to do. So I'm gonna try it out. My hair isn't too long. I'm kind of like confused because I feel like Hailey Bieber has shorter hair, but it still looks like her bun. So how does she actually do it? I don't know, maybe it's what she used to do if she had long hair before. Yeah. I'm gonna try it out. So this hair hack, I'm just going to take my hair, gather it like I'm doing a low pony, and then I take like from under, and I'm taking my hair, and I made just like a loop, I guess. With your arm? With my arm. Um, and I'm pulling my arm out of it. <laughs> so now I have a loop, and I just like put my hand in and grab the rest of my hair through it. Yeah, my hair could not do this. <laughs> so I'm just like making a knot in my hair, basically. But what I saw is you continue to pull it as tight as you can. That actually looks cool. It's like a knotted bun. Yeah. And then with the remainder of the hair, they just like wrapped it around. I don't really have too much left, but I'm gonna try my best to secure it with this ponytail. Like, that bun's so cute. It's like a little knot. <laughs> yes, this is her signature bun. <laughs> it looks good. My hair is just long enough to do this bun, but if you have super long hair, I feel like this would work really easy for you. And it's not even that hard. It's basically like you're making a knot and pulling the rest of your hair in through it and then just securing the rest with a ponytail. And it looks pretty good. It's very tight. It feels like a little bit like I could wear this at school and not have my hair like in my face. Yeah. So this one did work for sure. I don't think she could do it, but. No, I could not like wrap my hair. <laughs> oh, well, not really. <laughs> It also helps if you have thin hair for this. We both have super thick hair, and that's probably why it was hard to pull through. Yeah. But this is also a really good one for summer and like when you're by the pool because your hair is out of your face, and if it's hot out, like you obviously don't want it down like this. Yeah. So the bun helps a lot. The next hair hack that I'm gonna do is a two ponytail at the top, like this, kind of. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first, I'm gonna have to split my hair in the middle. I technically split my hair in the middle. I don't have a mirror, so I don't really know. <laughs> so now I'm going to 
grab like the top layer of my hair. That's my thing. Like I used to do this hairstyle a lot, but I never would pull the pieces out to begin with. Oh, that's a lot you're pulling out. Yeah, I want it like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> This one's super easy. You're just like taking sections and then securing them, but you want to make sure the hair is out before so you don't mess it up after you have it all done. Right, and so now I'm just gonna tie this up with a little ponytail. I'm gonna do the next side. <laughs> the beads kind of have kept me from doing a lot of hairstyles, not gonna lie. <laughs> well, my short hair keeps me from doing them too. <laughs> They are both in at the top of my hair. I don't have a mirror, so I don't know if I did it right or if it looks good. Does it look good? Um, It definitely does not look like what the girl did because she made them like stand up, but that's did. also a really cute, no, the girl did. Oh. <laughs> she made them really tight. Like if you want it loose, that's also another way to do it. But like usually when I make them, I tie them so tight that the like ponytail actually like sits up like this. I'm just gonna do it on this side to show you guys what I usually do. I like take the piece and get as much hair from the top as I can. And I try and make it a straight line also. Usually this is really hard to do because when you pull the hair up, it brings up hair from your top half. So I just pulled the hair up the entire time out of the way of the other hair. Cause I don't want it catching like other hair. And How do you do notes. that? I'm just holding it up. Like that? Like that? Yeah, that's how I That's what I'm supposed to do? No, it's not. It looks... <laughs> so I did it too, just to show you guys you can do it with long hair. And the tighter you tie your ponytail, the more it will stand up. But if you want it loose like hers, you can leave it like that if you want. Did I fix it? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so yeah. And I definitely recommend if you're doing it, try and hold the ponytail up the whole time instead of just letting it fall because it'll just it'll grab up more your hair, hair and make knots. Yes. This is a really cute hairstyle for summer and I'm glad we got to try it. I think it's so cute. I love it. The next hairstyle we're going to show you guys is a messy bun tutorial that I found. And I think this one is super, super easy. I don't know. Like, I'm not good at messy buns at all. Me either. I've actually been struggling on how to do one with short hair. So hopefully this one works. Hopefully. So the first step is to put your hair up in a ponytail completely. We're going to put our hair up. I think this is a really tight messy bun if we have to secure the ponytail Yeah, first. it's not going to look so messy. We have our hair in a ponytail now and you split it into two sections equally. Whoa, I did not realize how long my hair is. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Next, you just twirl each side. Like you wanna twist it to keep all the hair in place. Ow. I know, it's like pulling my hair. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like it's gonna work for Casey. Her hair is like layered. <laughs> <laughs> Next, the person just took the hair and twisted them together. This is a lot of twisting. This is like a twist bun. Look at this, look at my out. hair. Oh my goodness. Next, we're gonna take a rubber band to secure it. Are you kidding? I know, there's a lot of this steps. This is not an easy messy bun. I love how the caption of this video was easy messy bun tutorial and make sure you hold it because I think this is just gonna, oh, it doesn't come out. No way. Mine's going to. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna twirl it. Okay, you can if you want. So now that I've secured it, she says to just wrap it around. You can also loosen the pieces. Oh, I think I wrapped it the wrong direction. That's probably me. This is a lot more confusing than I thought it should be. This messy bun, the, the pieces are like coming out of my <laughs> This is <laughs> horrible. Not my favorite messy bun tutorial. This isn't even messy to me. Like if it was really, like I guess I could pull the pieces out and like mix them up. Like does that look better? Yeah, what? it actually does. I don't know, like for me, I think a messy bun is more so like you don't really put this much effort into it. Or yeah, like, you just like put it up. So here's how they did it on TikTok. This was too much work for me. Mine didn't work out. Here's the moment y'all have been waiting for. I'm gonna show you how I did this beaded braid. It is super easy to do. And um, it's all over TikTok right now. So this is, is a good one to learn. So many people have that in their hair. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna do it in Casey's hair. What side do you want it on? This side. This side? Okay, we're gonna switch places. Okay. Well, this is weird sitting in here. So now you guys can see my braid when I sit like this. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is figure out where you want it. Like, do you want it right here, here? Which part of your hair are you Like, in the middle. Like, okay. not like in the front. Yeah, obviously. I'm taking a section of hair from Casey's, like, middle of her hair, and you don't wanna make the section too thick and to test to see if you'll be able to use it. 
You're gonna separate it into three parts. And if you don't think you're gonna be able to fit a bead through that amount of hair, you definitely wanna take some out before you separate the rest of it. I think this might be the hardest part, is determining if you have a big enough piece. Okay, this is the piece I'm gonna use for her hair, so you can put the rest in a ponytail. Okay. <laughs> it definitely helps if you have like your friend doing this for you. I really have not tried to do it on myself yet. I definitely could not do it on myself. I think it would be a little hard, but I'm sure you could manage it if you really want it that way. So here's the piece we're using, cool. And now we get it wet. So I'm, <laughs> just for the purpose of this video, I'm dipping it in a cup of water. You can always go in the sink and do it that way. Okay, you're dripping water on you. It has to be a really wet piece, I'm sorry. The way we're gonna do this is her hair is wet. We have the pink pony beads ready. She wants the color pink, that's kind of pretty. Nice. And I'm just gonna make sure the hair is really wet still because you need to be able to get the beads on and they're kind of hard to get on. So I'm gonna start the braid and you wanna like leave it a little bit loose at the top. So I'm not gonna braid it super tight. And then also you don't wanna bead at the top, so I'm gonna braid an inch down before I add my first bead. If you don't know how to braid, you can look up a braid tutorial. <laughs> that would really help with this. I'm ready to add my first bead. Let me make sure, I want it like the same as mine. <laughs> okay. Um, if the hair is still like not wet enough, you need to add more water for sure. I'm gonna take the piece of hair, I'm adding a bead to this one and I'm going to Fold it in half, but I like to twist it before I fold it just so it's super tight. It's really hard to get the beads on. So as small as you can get the hair, you're gonna try your best to get a bead onto this. It's kind of hard, I'm like working like with my hands above my head, so. <laughs> so once I get the bead on, I folded the hair in half and I have to pull it all out through here. There you go, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna push the bead up and continue braiding. So I braid for like an inch each time. Like you want the like distance between each bead to be the same, just so that it looks pretty and like even. I'm gonna braid a little bit more. I just eyeball this, but if you really want to make it even, I, I would just suggest counting like the braids that you do each time. I'm ready to add my next bead. So once again, I'm folding the hair and getting it as tight and small as I can because I have to fit a bead through this. And I recommend folding it instead of just going to the end of the hair and like trying to put a bead on because the hair will literally get so messed up. So I'm doing like a fold close to where my braid is. And I'm gonna add on my next bead. Wow, you're doing this fast. <laughs> so I folded it, pulling the rest of the hair through the bead. And I'm gonna continue braiding for the same amount as I did before. Also, I want you guys to like tell, I hope you can see it from there, but the first bead I put on this side, so then I got the bead for the next one and put it on the other side. So I'm alternating what so, side the bead goes on. So never in the middle, right? No, no, no. They're going on alternate sides. Okay. I mean, you could always put it on the same side each time, but like, it's up to you. It's really like, you're designing it yourself. You can make it how you want it but I like to alternate them. Also, I think I'm braiding like an inch and a half here because she doesn't want too many beads on hers. Ooh, I'm looking at it right now, looks good. I'm adding the next bead and it's going on the opposite side from the last one, so this strand now. I would not say this is an easy hairstyle to do, honestly. Yeah, I don't even know how to do this and making her do it on me. Yeah, she wouldn't be able to do it on me, I'm no sure. No way. Here's what it looks like so far. They are alternating back and forth. It's time to add another bead. And also remember, you can just like dip your fingers in water to get them wet, just so that you can add on beads if your hair doesn't really fit. Just really helps when the hair is wet. I'm almost to the bottom, so when you get to the bottom, like. Some people don't want beads at the very end. Since that braid is so tiny, she's gonna use an elastic rubber band. I'm not gonna braid all the way to the end. That's not what I did for my hair, so. If you have any rainbow loom rubber bands, I definitely recommend using those. Um, I had to order more because I don't have any. <laughs> but I'm going to just try and make this as tight as possible so it doesn't fall out. And there you go. So here's her braided bead. Yay! Or beaded braid. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty in the front. Are you kidding? No, it's not at all. Take your hair out and then it's like in the middle. You're fine. Exactly. That's where mine is. How does it look, guys? Now we're twinning. We have it. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Thank you so much. It looks good. So that's the tutorial on how to do it. It's kind of hard to explain and like try and show how to get the beads on, but all I can say is get your hair wet, twist it and fold it, and then like pinch it as much as you can to like get the hair 
really small for the bead to go on it. The last hair hack I'm going to show you guys, I don't exactly have a picture of what it ends up looking like, but I'm gonna use string and braid it into my hair in a way so that it's just like a colorful braid. And I've seen this one on TikTok a ton. It's another thing like this, like everyone has it in their hair right now. <laughs> so I really hope that it looks good once I'm done. And I'm using a really bright color just so that it will stand out. And this is friendship bracelet string. Like it's really thin. And the next thing you wanna do is figure out where you wanna put it in your hair. So I guess I could put it up here, but I already have like this braid and I don't want both of them. I'm probably gonna just take a piece from underneath just so it's like, hidden sometimes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Once you get the hair out, you wanna put the rest in a ponytail. I'm going to actually get my hair wet just so it's easier to braid it. Cause I feel like when it's not wet, it's harder to braid. It's like frizzy. Yeah. So the first step is to take the piece and braid it all the way down. That's all you're gonna do is do a little tiny braid in your hair. It doesn't really take that long to do this if your hair is like out of the way, that makes it a lot easier. So I need to separate this into three pieces. It's easier if you're looking in the mirror when you do this. I'm gonna make a tiny braid going all the way down and try not to get any other extra pieces of hair in it, just what you're working with. I finished braiding, it's super thin and frizzy, but that's okay because the other strings are going to be the main factor here, not the braid. So now I'm gonna take a piece of string and I'm gonna measure it to like the length of my hair, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna measure it to the length and then go a little bit longer just because I wanna have extra in case. And then I'm gonna fold it in half because you'll see. So now you can cut it right about there. Good. And now I have this piece, which I'm going to tie around the braid. Yay, we're wow. almost there. So I'm going to tie it as tight as I can. I'm gonna do a double knot just so it can stay in, but it might not stay in, so I might need to do a triple knot. Yay. It's also really helpful if you have your friend doing this for you. Here, I'll do it. This knot feels super tight now, so I think we're good. Yeah. These are the pieces we have to work with. So now we have three strings. I guess like this is pretty simple, and we're just gonna braid. This is not hard to get out at all. I'll even show you guys. I'll take this out on camera to show you. <laughs> wow, she did this for what? <laughs> I'm just braiding the three pieces together. So I'm making a braid now with the braid I've already made and the two strings and I'm gonna go all the way down my hair. I have finally gotten to the bottom, and no, I'm not gonna braid like this piece at the bottom just because that's hair. It's like not braided hair. And I'm gonna secure it with a rubber band again. Also, last time I did this, I tied around the strings. So if you don't have rubber bands, you can always just tie the two like strings together around your braid, and it really just secures it itself. It, but I just think this way is easier because it doesn't fall out. This neon color looks so cool. Should I leave it in? Yeah. <laughs> you also have the decision if you want to cut it like here to like match the length of your hair, but I don't really like how that looks, so I usually cut it at the rubber band. Um, don't cut your hair. <laughs> no, do not cut your hair. <laughs> there you go. That is the finished product. Wow, she and has so many, so many things in her hair. I know, I literally, I'm ready for summer. I have all the trends going on right now. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. I don't exactly like having the beads and this braid thing in at the same time, just because sleeping purposes, like it's not so fun to have to and like- it, like it's too much. And then after you take a shower and you have to brush your hair, you have to make sure these are out of the way. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to take this out just so that you know it's not gonna stay in your hair forever and it does come out. So let me pull out the rubber bands without ruining my hair. All you have to do, this is so easy, is take the knot at the top and pull down on it. And it'll come out of your hair. What? That. It is so simple and it does not stay in. And then the braid, however, is a little bit hard to get out. You literally have to just unbraid it. Yeah, it's not so fun tiny at too. All. I know, I did a time lapse of me taking out one of these braids and it took forever to get out. So, but if you're like planning on having this in for like the summer, like having it in for a while, like it's fine. Mm -hmm. But like I'm taking it out right now. So those are all of the hair hacks that we felt like trying today, but there are so many more on TikTok and we could always do another one of these videos or we could try some more food hacks or lifestyle hacks. So let us know in the comments below or on our Instagram at JC and KC if you'd like to see us do more of these videos. These hacks were super fun to try and I think my favorite one has to be the beads. Like that's literally gonna always be my favorite. Same, I think it's my favorite too. It might be one of the hardest ones, but it turns out really fun. And if you guys do try that, tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see your hair.
there. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and please share with your family and your friends. And if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. We love you so much. Bye.